Hi, this is Mohammed again. This is my second video on the topic in relation to how the gain is frozen. In this video, I'm going to talk about rollover relief. What is rollover relief? Rollover relief actually categorized into two relief, which is called holdover relief and rollover relief. This relief is available again on the disposal of a business assets, whereby uh, the disposal, the net sale proceeds on the disposal of asset one is actually reinvested into a new depreciating business asset. So that, what is the depreciating business asset? It can be a fixed plant and machinery or leases less than 60 years of, of uh, less than 60 years of age. So this means any gains realized on the disposal of first asset will actually be deferred and will reduce the base cost of the depreciating asset and this gain is frozen until uh, until 10 years or before that if the asset is actually sold or ceased to be used in the trade. So that was a holdover relief. Okay, how does the rollover relief work? It, it works in the same way as the holdover relief works but only a, only the difference is that in the rollover relief the new asset will be a non depreciating asset it can so non depreciating asset would be either land and building or leases more than 60 years of age so in this case the net proceeds from the disposal of first asset is actually uh, reinvested into uh, the acquisition of a new trading asset so the relief would reduce the base cost of asset 2 and if the proceeds are not fully reinvested then any any proceeds which are not in not reinvested will be chargeable to capital gains tax in the tax year so it can be claimed that there is a four years window if the new asset is acquired either 12 months before the disposal of first assets or reinvested after 36 months of the disposal i hope you find this video useful so any feedback would be greatly appreciated thank you for watching